My company is in Reno, Nevada. Uh, we've been working there since 1999. We're searching for telomerase inducers, things that will cause the induction of telomerase inside of our cells that stop or reverse telomere shortening in humans. That's the number one only goal of my company. This is just some pictures of my company with some of the scientists working there. And this is our, our strategy that we're working with. This is, the gray bar is the chromosome. And like all other genes, there's a gene that produces telomerase. Okay, now next to all genes, there's a regulatory element. And this is like a light switch. It turns the gene on and off. And so we all have, the, for those of us that have advanced molecular biology, I'm talking about promoters here and transcription factors and things like that. But for, this, for the sake of this audience, there's a regulatory element against, next to every gene, and it involves in the regulation to turn the gene on or off. So in our re reproductive cells, the telomerase gene is turned on. In all the other cells of our body, there's a repressor protein. They say it's called a repressor that binds to that regulatory element and shuts it off. So in all the other cells of our body, we have no production of telomerase, and therefore our telomeres shorten. So what my company is doing is we're looking at uh, synthetic chemicals, pharmaceuticals, natural products, just about anything, looking for anything like this green thing that will bind to that repressor, dislodge it, and allow the gene to turn back on again. And we've been doing this for 15 years now. And we've actually, and think of it like a dimmer switch, because some of the green things will turn it on a little, some will turn it on a lot. So it's not just a flip of a switch, it's like a turn on a knob to get more and more telomerase production. We've actually found quite a few We've found like 900 different chemicals right now that turn on telomerase. We've been able to break, break them down into 39 different families. So, th so be prepared for this in your practices. There's going to be some really good things coming along. Our highest so far, the high, six is, we call it 16%. That means it is produced, we have, a, we have some chemicals that when we add to human cells in a petri dish, will turn on the telomerase gene to about 16% of the level needed to actually make that cell immortal by scientific standards. So it makes it so those cells no, show no signs of aging. And <clears throat> we're at 16% now. We think we're going to be at 100% within one year. And then we think we'll be ready for human testing within three years. So we're really close on this stuff. And we think we're going to have skin creams, pet products, cancer diagnostics even sooner than that. So a lot of stuff is going to happen in practices right now. We are just a research company. I have no idea where you're going to be buying these products 